All right, so we're gonna start off by sectioning out the mannequin. Now, preparation is so important. If you find yourself struggling with speed in the salon, a lot of it has to do with the thought process prior to the execution. So work through it, plan out your sectioning. For me today, I work and I try to figure out where that curve of the head is right in the fringe area, and then I draw a triangle uh, on each side. So we create two triangles in the front fringe section, uh, and then we're going to find that crown area in the back, and I'm gonna draw a line over to that recession point. This video is sponsored by the new FSE haircutting system available at shopfse.com. This system was designed for individual stylists, salons, and schools. Included in the FSE haircutting system, you get a digital haircutting book, printable head sheets for each haircut, eight step-by-step -step videos, terminology 101 video, and also a completion certificate that you can hang in your salon or school. To download your copy of the FSE haircutting system, go to shopfse.com. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Thank you so much for the support. All right, so now that we've got the top sectioned out, basically what I do is I find that center crown point and I draw a line slight diagonal forward just to directly behind the ear and I scoop everything up with a giant comb and I clipper it all off at once. Now, the key thing there is to make sure you got a nice elevation, which creates a little bit of extra over direction and length towards the bottom of the section. And I just keep working those diagonal forward partings and clippering everything off. That gives me that kind of forward closed feel to the haircut as we work through. Now we mimic the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now, key thing here, notice that my clipper is still moving towards the face. I do that the same on both sides because my goal is to make sure that I'm always pushing that weight in the same direction. Now I blow dry that whole outer perimeter uh, through it, check the weight distribution, make sure the texture's where I want it to be, and then I start working through the top sections. Now I'm going to use a brand new tool uh, from Free Salon Education. This is the Tri Razor. It's a three-sided razor. It's got a 100% cutting side and then two texturizing sides. One cuts 25%. The other cuts 50%. I'm going to use the 50% cutting side to work my line. Now, the reason I use the 50% side is because I want to uh, slowly remove the weight, which will soften the edge and create more texture. Now, look how I condense that entire section together, cut it all at the same point, and it just creates this really fun, uh, nice, lightweight feel. And then I take that front triangle, I pull it all forward, I match it up with between the lip and the nose, and I use my texture 50 side again, and I work that line. Again, that gives me a nice soft edge. And then uh, because I cut a balance line in the front, what I wanna do is soften each side. So I use my 100% uh, cutting side just to soften each edge of that cut that way they can wear their hair back and forth either way uh, which is a really nice versatile um, feeling to that haircut so now you can see already it looks like a cool haircut but we're just going to style it up with a little paul mitchell invisible wear memory shaper um, this is a nice lightweight product but it's got a really good control to it uh, when you want to create a nice polished look so i blow dry the sides um, using just my hands and the air from the blow dryer and then I work through the top round brushing it off the face uh, And then just kind of working it back. That's gonna give me volume uh, and that nice smooth shine polish to it The other question you guys might have is you might really like the hair color I use the rose gold flash toner flash finish from Paul Mitchell as well Left that on for 20 minutes on blonde hair and I got this beautiful rose gold uh, effect now I'm just going through and just lightening up my shape with the tri razor at the 100% side and just softly going in and cutting it. You'll see how that creates kind of some negative space within that weight, uh, which will make the haircut nice and lightweight, add a little bit of texture to it, help keep some of that volume up. This is great for medium hair, uh, fine hair, thick hair. It really works on everyone. You just kind of change up that technique just a little bit but see how i go in just nice soft effect uh key tip with the tri razor just make sure you keep it at about 45 degree angle as you go into the hair you'll get a nice soft feel so now a little bit of hairspray i like a dry hairspray on medium to fine hair this is a super cool haircut guys i know you're going to be able to use it right away in the salon just pick apart these techniques and see which one fits you the best if you're looking for a tri razor go to shopfse.com and if you really want to up your haircutting game download the fse digital haircutting system by clicking the link in the description below thanks for watching
There's a few things that you have to understand about haircutting before you can really jump into doing haircuts. These are all things that I'm gonna teach you guys in the next eight haircuts. Truly understanding the why behind what you're doing in haircutting can make haircutting so much more fun and make you way more successful behind the chair.